private area, sir. Phineas Whitmer, private investigator. I have an appointment with Madame Carlyle. Please wait. Mr. Whitmer is here to see Madame Carlyle. You can go right in. That is Phineas Whitmer, the famous private investigator hired by Madame Carlyle this morning. I'm curious why he's here. Maybe you should do some detecting yourself, 47. A famous private investigator summoned by Alexa Carla. told Kate about those texts. What did she say? Well, I thought she'd be mad at me, but she just thanked me, said she understood the position I was in. Uh, we had a really good talk about it, actually. Oh, what did I tell you? She's a sensible woman. And that stuff from your ex was like manipulation 101. I know, I know. I guess I thought she was gonna read into that and freak out. That's a bit excessive. Say I must have done something Considering the fact that I spotted no less than two rooms to get inside the house. Unseen. We know what we're doing, sir. Don't worry about that. Mr. Whitmer, thank you for coming on such short notice. A great tragedy has fallen upon us, and I need a quick resolution handled with absolute discretion. Results and discretion are my speciality. Very well. I suppose you will want to start at the crime scene. In my experience, a thorough examination of a potential crime scene is half the job done. Good. Fernsby will take over from here. I am Mr. Fernsby, the butler. Madame Carlyle has asked me to assist you in any way possible. Mr. Whitmer, I understand that you've traveled from London. Would you care for some refreshments, or do you prefer to go straight to Mr. Zachary's sleeping quarters? I prefer to get started. As you wish. If you'll follow me, sir. Yeah, hey, bro.
I feel obliged to point out the current affairs surrounding Madame Carlyle are of a delicate nature. You may be familiar with the recent announcement of her death. You will probably learn that the staged funeral is scheduled to take place tomorrow. Madame's children were not informed until this morning that their mother was in fact not dead at all. So please bear with them if they seem affected Agreed, by the rather unusual situation. I trust I do not need to remind you that there will be consequences if word gets out that Madame Carlyle is still alive. I'll consider her dead when I leave. Before you inspect the crime scene, I will tell you this. The case concerns the death of Mr. Zachary, Madame Carlyle's younger brother. He was found dead in his bed this morning. The door was locked from the inside, and a suicide letter was found in his room. However, Madame Carlyle suspects foul play and will not accept that he took his own life. I've prepared some information for you, so please do come and see me when you've finished your investigation of the crime scene. This is Mr. Zachary's room, to my right. A locked room murder mystery, 47. I trust you'll get to the bottom of this. Why don't you use your camera to scan the dead body, 47? Throat markings indicate a rare, short-lived plant poison killed him. Spread shows time of death at around 10 o'clock last night. You do know your poisons, 47. Zachary was shopping for New Wellingtons last night. Not exactly what you would expect from someone suicidal. Zachary's suicide note. Also, a sample of handwriting. It could be relevant to compare to other samples to establish its authenticity. Sir. You've likely not exhausted the room for clues, 47.
door. It's a secret passage. This could explain how the door was locked from the inside. Hmm, a photocopy of the floor plans. Somebody's been researching the secret ins and outs of Thornbridge Manor. I believe you've done a thorough search of the crime scene, 47. Maybe it's time to see the butler. I'm curious about the information he's prepared for you. Mr. Fernsby, I'm done with the crime scene. Did you establish a time of death? Zachary died around 10 o'clock last night. Well, that means the staff were off duty. And Madame Carlyle and her security didn't arrive until this morning. That leaves Madame's family and myself as the only persons here when he died. And before you ask, no, I do not have an alibi. I was alone in my office at the time of death. Here's the material that I prepared for you. It's a list of the possible suspects and their quarters. Hopefully that will help you keep track of your findings. Please come and see me when you've solved the case, and I will take you to Madame Carlyle. Making you wash his car twice? 